be a baseball player when you grow up, that's easy. Um, uh, it's a little bit more difficult when towards the end of your career, and I think as a uh, you know as a professional athlete, everyone starts to recognize or sees the handwriting on the wall. I mean, there was a time when I used to be able to walk into the clubhouse, know where I was batting in the lineup, and I never even had to look at the scorecard, knew what position I was playing. Uh, and, and for a while, that that you know, you have that kind of success and things are going well, but towards the end of your career and the organization is looking like who they're going to replace you with, things start to change a little bit. So I think when you see the handwriting on the wall, it makes you want to kind of think about what you're going to be doing next. And um, for me, that was, you know, when I asked myself that question, uh, you know, I had, I had had the influence of a lot of people who I had gotten to know and that it really helped me to come to that decision. Someone like a former teammate of mine, uh, Joe Morgan. Uh, you know, Joe, for as long as I can remember, uh, has always been involved in business. Even while we were playing, he was flying off, having these meetings and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, getting a chance to go with Joe, that kind of interested me in, um, you know, in that part of it. I've always had an appetite for learning. So going back to school and uh, studying something I liked and pursuing other ways uh, were things that I considered. And then, you know, just the people you come across uh, in your lifetime that give you great advice. And I think some of the best, of the, the, one of the best pieces of advice I ever had was uh, a friend of mine that told me that maybe I should think about retiring uh, and living in Philadelphia as opposed to trying to stretch my career out for a couple more years, maybe going from city to city. And I think that that really uh, was some great advice because as soon as I had decided to make Philadelphia uh, my home, uh, then the people of the city reached out to me and, uh, you know, and accepted me. And so having that type of feedback from the community, uh, those types of resources to fall back on, people wanting me to do well, you know, has really turned out to be one of the key decisions I made in my life.